giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from Mercy Medical Center, the medical director for the cardiovascular services, Cam Campbell. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Tell us about February being Heart Month and kind of some of the, the services that you're talking about and the message that you'd like to get to people this month. Well, every year in February, we tend to concentrate on that being heart because of Valentine's Day. So there's a lot of special things that happen during the month. And one of the things that we think are very important is that of just prevention issue. You know, the only cure for coronary artery disease is that of prevention. Everything else is a treatment. So be it medicines, balloons, stents, bypass surgery, those are all treatments. We think prevention is key. And also, I think getting out the word that heart disease is the number one killer in men, as it is in women as well. So it is an equal opportunity illness, unfortunately. And so it does affect uh, both sexes uh, equally as being the number one killer. And a lot of people think of heart attacks. Can mm -hmm. we talk a little bit about some of the signs and symptoms and what people should look for? Certainly. Um, I think us in the health profession lead patients astray when we talk about heart pain. Heart pain is not a pain at all. It's a pressure, an ache, a fullness, a squeeze, a heaviness or tightness. So it's not an ouchy pain like a, a, a knife pain or a stab pain. It's more a, a pressure type of discomfort. It's also not focal, so it's not one little spot. It's broad areas. So across your chest, up and down your chest, into your jaw, in your back down the arms. It tends to be the left arm, but it can be left or right arm. So those types of symptoms, pressure, ache, fullness, squeeze, heaviness, or tightness, associated with exertion, relieved by rest. That's the definition of angina or angina, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. So if you notice those symptoms, that's an indication you may have a blocked artery. So if it's parking your car and walking into work, if it's climbing stairs, if it's shoveling snow, if it's uh, groceries in or out, garbage to the curb, those sort of things where you get the discomfort, you stop and rest and goes away. Those can be signs and symptoms of angina. Talk to us a little bit about the treatment and where you've come and, and where you've gone, some of the successes of heart disease and heart attacks. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of, uh, of patients who are actually having a heart attack, so if you think you're having those symptoms, they're unrelenting, particularly if associated with shortness of breath, sweatiness. I mean, the, the first thing to do is to dial 911. Uh, that's your best line of defense because the paramedics arrive and they have a defibrillator. That's one of the things that usually causes people to not survive a heart attack is an irregular heartbeat or arrhythmia. And so they, they have those defibrillators available. The other thing that happens is, I know a lot of people think, well, I can get to the hospital quicker than the paramedics. Well, the answer is the paramedics have these devices to get things going, and once an EKG is done, they start the system, and that gets everybody involved so that when you hit the door of the hospital, we have things in place to begin the process. So one of the national standard guidelines is to get arteries open within 90 minutes after people hit the door, so to speak, of the emergency room. And, and that is a goal that every hospital tries to meet. Uh, we were not great about this five, six, seven years ago as a nation. We might only achieve that success maybe 40 or 50 percent of the time. But today, most hospitals have at least 90 percent success rate. At Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids, we have been able to achieve that 100 percent of the time for three and a half years now. So it's one thing to, to achieve 100 percent success rate, getting arteries open within 90 minutes uh, uh, for one year's period of time, to do it three and a half years in a row is certainly testimony to the team effort that's involved. What about someone that has some of these signs and they're nervous or worried to go to the hospital or, or make that phone call? They don't think it's bad enough. Yeah. Um, I, I would tell them at least get checked out and, and they should get checked out. And, and what you think is a very minor thing and I think women tend to maybe you know blow it off so to speak more so and, and, and are less apt because they're busy doing things. They're busy working. They're busy taking care of families and tend not to put themselves first often. But I think they need to get those things checked out and evaluated. And simple things that everyone could be doing to be heart healthy. Yeah. I, I think moderation is the key to life. <laughs> uh, so be it alcohol, be it chocolates, be it uh, exercise, be it other food groups. I think moderation is the key to life and an exercise program is an important part of that. And uh, be social, be engaged, and have fun. Where can someone go to find a little more information? They can find out at mercycare.org and we'll have links to websites that will show them other heart healthy benefits. Well, Dr. Campbell, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.